In this video we're going to look at algebraic notation. Now the main thing to remember in algebra is that X or Y or any letter just stands for an unknown value. Okay, So here we've got X plus 3. So as I've written down, this means X plus 3. So for instance, if X was the number 10, you would do 10 plus 3, which would be 13. So what do you read as you read it? X plus 3. Or another way to read it is 3 more than x. So for instance, if you've got x and you add 3, you're going to get 3 more than whatever x is. I've turned it around and I've written 3 plus x. So this would mean 3 plus x. Or another way to look at it would be x more than 3. So if you've got 3 and you add x to it, you'd have x more than 3. Now both of these expressions would give you the same answer. Because if you do x plus 3 or 3 plus x, they give you the same thing. Remember, in adding, it doesn't matter what order you add things in. For instance, if you do 1 plus 2, it's 3. Or if you do 2 plus 1, it's also 3. Okay, this time I've written x minus 3. So to read this, it would read x subtract 3. So for instance, if x was equal to 10, you would do 10, take away 3, which is 7. Okay, so it reads x subtract 3. But also notice it is 3 less than x. In other words, if you had your 10 and you take away 3, you get 7. So it's 3 less than x. The word here, subtract, could also read minus, take away. So it could be x minus 3, x take away 3. But it means you're going to take 3 away from x, so you're going to be 3 less than x. Now, this time, I've written 3 subtract x. So 3 subtract x, which would mean x less than 3. Because you're subtracting the x from the 3, it's x less than 3. These two things are very different to each other. Okay, if x was equal to 10, if x equals 10, this one would be 10 take away 3, which equals 7. But this one would be 3 take away 10, which would be equal to minus 7. So these two things would be very different. It does matter what order you take away. And for instance, uh, 5 take away 2 is 3, but 2 take away 5 is minus 3. So they're very different. Okay, this time I've written 4x. So it's a 4 and an x directly beside each other. In algebra, that actually stands for 4x or 4 times x. Okay, So it means 4 times whatever x is. Another way of writing it is 4 times x. But in algebra, you don't write the multiplication sign, so it is just 4x. So for instance, if I wanted to do 10 times y, in algebra, you don't write this multiplication sign. You just write 10y. Okay? Or if you wanted to do a times c in algebra, you don't write the multiplication sign, you just write a c. So everyone knows that if you've got a c beside each other in maths, that would mean a times c. If you had 10 y beside each other, or 10 and a y directly beside each other, it means 10 times y. Or if you had 4x, it means 4 times x. Okay, so the main thing to take away from this is that x you don't or ta, uh, the multiplication sign you don't write it in algebra, and if you've got a number directly beside a letter, it means that number times the letter. Okay, okay. This time I've written x with a line and two beneath it. The line in this is the, like a fraction, and it means divided by. So this reads x divided by two. So it would be x divided by two. Again in algebra, you don't write this divided by sign. So for instance, if I had something like um, w divided by 4, I would write w over 4. It actually sometimes is read as actually x over 2. Okay, So w over 4 again means w divided by 4. If you had something like a divided by b, you have a over b. It's important to realize the number you're dividing goes on the numerator, and the number you're dividing by goes on the denominator. Okay? Okay, this time I've written x with a superscript 2. You should recognize this too. It's a squared symbol, okay? You should have already seen your squared numbers and what squaring means, okay? So if you write x squared, it's read as x squared. Some people say x times itself, okay? To sort of figure out whenever they know the number, how to work it out. So for instance, if, it was, if x was 5, it would be 5 squared. So you do 5 times 5. Or x times x because it's x times itself, so it's x times x. But normally you would say x squared. If you had this, y squ squared, it would be y squared. If you had x with a little 3 above it, it's read as x, that's terrible, it'd be read as x cubed, okay? Because a little 3 means cubed, okay? Or x times x times x, okay? 
So um, this little 2 means squared, so this would be x squared.